The first thing we want to do is depressurize the unit. So that means turn the feed water supply off. I've unhooked it here. You'll also want to open the flush valve. Open it up, which will relieve any residual pressure in the membrane housing, which can store a little, a few pounds. And on the permeate line, once again, if you have a float valve on the permeate line, you'll want to depress the valve. If this was a big commercial float valve on your permeate line, you want to push it down and that'll relieve the pressure that's in the permeate line as well. With the unit depressurized, and you'll know by the pressure gauges on the front, they'll read zero, you're safe to disassemble the membrane housing. So here we have a new membrane. This is a GXM1000HR, it's a high rejection model. Okay, to change the membrane, I'm going to pull out the tube that feeds from the carbon filter. Pull it back and out. And I need a 13 millimeter socket and a 14 millimeter wrench, or two wrenches, either way. And I'm just going to loosen up the stainless clamp on the membrane housing. Just like so. It's got all stainless hardware, so you don't have to worry about it rusting. And I'll we'll put that clamp aside. And now all I need to do is pull this cap straight off. And you gotta wiggle it a little bit. Uh, if, it's, if it's really on there, you could grab the splines with a pair of pliers and just pull it straight out and water is going to come out. I'll put that aside. And then I'm gonna grab a pair of pliers, needle nose, vice grips, whatever you got, and just grab the core tube right here and pull this membrane straight out. Just like so. And it's gonna come straight out. Then you can tilt the unit to drain the whatever's left. And that's it. Now, these can get dirty, especially they can get scaled up. It'll be some calcium, magnesium, carbonate here on the, uh, on the surface of this steel housing. You can take a little scrub brush if you want, scrub it out, rinse it out. You can rinse it with soap and water too, just make sure you flush it all out. And when you're ready to put a new membrane in, it's, it's really quite easy. So this is a new membrane, even though I took it out. And you'll notice on the label, there's a direction of flow rate. It also says flow direction. And also, there's a brine seal. There's a rubber seal on the outside of the membrane. And that is the last part to go in. The brine seal always goes in last. The output side of the unit has the flush assembly, which has got two outputs. The input side only has one input. And what we're going to do is take a little bit of the silicone grease that we used when we changed the carbon filters. And we're going to rub a little bit on the core tube on both ends. And we're also going to rub it on the brine seal and get it nice and greased up. Now this membrane is ready to go in. To insert it, you just slide it in the tube in the direction of the arrows. Brine seal last. It's going to seat in the opposite membrane cap here. Just like that, you'll feel it go in the O-rings. And then I'll take my input membrane cap and I'm just going to make sure I have some lubrication on the o-rings here and inside the middle of it where there are two more o-rings which seal on this core tube and I'm simply going to push it back on the same way it came off which is uh, this fitting on top right in the middle just like that take my stainless hardware place it on like that the way it was put a bolt a nut and a washer. Take my wrenches, my driver, I'll position the clamps the way I like them, and just tighten it up. Now here's a key thing. 
you don't want to over tighten this. And if you take a look, there's about an eighth of an inch, three sixteenths of an inch between the upper and lower saddle clamp here, the membrane clamp. Uh, if you, you don't want to tighten it up so much that those clamps are touching each other. That's over tightening it and you're going to stretch them out. They don't need to be that tight. So about an eighth inch or so, just enough to hold this thing in under big pressure. Uh, and they will be pretty tight even when you get that close. So. And they have lock nuts on them so they, sh they won't back out. Uh, and now we're ready to reconnect the tube from the carbon filter. And I'm ready to purge this membrane. You can see the step on how to purge the air and how to flush the membrane uh, in the installation and startup video earlier in this series. But just as a reminder, you want to turn the water pressure on slow, let the air purge out of the membrane, keep the flush valve open on the flush assembly, and let this membrane flush for half an hour. Close the flush valve, let the permeate side flush for half an hour before you use the water. And that's it, quite simple.